Okay, so uh, welcome back. Um, this is actually inside Santiago, close to where you get your Compostela. I threw this sign in just uh, because I love the sign from the previous year. And um, I just wanted to have something that says Santiago. Um, but I came from a different direction. I actually went through Musia and uh, before I came to Santiago. And um, I, I, I like Santiago, don't get me wrong, but uh, there was, there's usually so many people and it's just so chaotic. After my first Camino in um, 2018, the Camino Frances, I really wanted something a little bit calmer. And um, when I first arrived in 2018, the front of the cathedral was actually under construction and there was scaffolding, scaffolding there. So it was really lovely to see um, the, the, the cathedral all nice and clean, the plaza nice and clean. And um, at this moment, when I arrived in the square, there weren't any tourist buses, thank goodness. So the crowd wasn't too bad. Um, I stayed uh, in a private uh, albergue just behind the cathedral. Um, the last time I stayed uh, right in, um, before you come down the steps to get go to the front of the cathedral in a, a small albergue, which was really lovely, but it was just very, very loud. What you're seeing here is some locals, they, they often do impromptu concerts and um this is the plaza if you're doing the frances that you you walk uh, uh down through this plaza and um to the right and you go down to um to the the cathedral if you had gone to the left the there's a nice albergue there called the last stamp that you can stay at um there's often like many people doing many things in santiago so that was just a brief look at that so i want to show you a little bit more about uh musia um, it is like my favorite favorite place last year i went to finisterra first and then to musia and i just fell in love with musia it is like this just little lovely little town the camino um, comes when it comes in comes across the beach uh, a little bit uh, across from where this gentleman is standing and um, then it comes up to the main uh, street and then you take a left go up the hill and then down the hill and you're coming from it actually brings you in from the back side of Musia. so this is a view from where I was staying and that little hump over there is where the church is and when you enter the town from the harbor if you go straight on and continue all the way out you actually end at the church um, where it said that Mary met um, uh, St. Uh, Francis so here is a like a little beach down below where I was staying I rented an apartment and I was on the top floor and uh, it's just as you you um, you're like the end of Musia basically and on that side there's hardly any people but the albergue is on the bottom floor and I was on the top floor so um, after a couple of days a couple of my friends joined me and um, we stayed there a few days cooked um, uh, we rented a car went out and looked around we went to the lighthouse at Cabo de Ferro and as you can see here this uh, young lady it looks like or young man is actually leaving Musia to go back to Santiago so um, that my albergue was really at the end of Musia so um, these pictures are from the, the inside the main uh, square area of Musia and it's just a lovely place after Camino that is so calm and peaceful and you can actually um, just relax and enjoy um, they had a, a, a local market there on one of the days so we just go down and, and buy fresh fruits and vegetables and there's a couple supermarkets here um, now they're famous for making lace in this area and um, here's a look at the way that they make the lace I think it's called Camarina Lace. And these ladies are pretty fast. <laughs> and um, I was fortunate. I asked someone where I could buy some lace and they, they told me to come here. It looks very unassuming. It's just like this little um, doorway off the main um, street. And these ladies meet weekly to practice this ancient art of lace making. So, um, a little bit closer you can see in the background there you'll see those uh, wind 
uh, items, that's where the, the lighthouse is. It's, it's about a half an hour's drive away. So um, Musia is just famous for this rugged beach. And um, at one point uh, I saw some ladies down here picking up seaweed and I asked them what they were doing. And um, they actually make uh, makeup with it, beauty products with the seaweed. So I found that very interesting. Uh, this is one of my, my mates from, uh, from Germany, and he insisted on going out there and um, uh, taking a closer video. He got hit by a wave one time, and that was pretty funny. Um, so uh, my other friend from Canada, Carol, um, we did so here. You can see the lighthouse across um, from, from the, the main area of Musia. There's lots of little nooks and crannies for people to walk around and, um, just relax. You'll see people laying in different areas and you will never see more than two pilgrims unless they travel together. They'll never see more than two pilgrims together in Musia, um, or eating, I should say. So this is a look at the Cabo de Faro, which is a lighthouse. There's an actual Camino that you can walk from around uh, the Cape, um, along the, the shore um, to see the lighthouses. So um, I, if you're interested in that, you know, take a look. But here it was very, very foggy. Um, so when we got there, it, it, you could barely see um, out further into the ocean. So, um, but it was still a lovely, lovely day. As you can see, it was raining, uh, my umbrella. <laughs> and this is inside the lighthouse. So um, there are many things to do in Musia, Santiago area, outside of the cities, outside of the towns. Um, if you just, if you have the time, I would highly, highly recommend it. So as you can see, this is a, a long view, longer view of the of the lighthouse. So this area here, this sign. Um, the reason why I took a picture of the sign is because we were headed towards. A lighthouse that I, I mean, a, not a lighthouse, a waterfall that I had found uh, a few, a couple of days earlier before my friends arrived. So in that area, you can park and then you, it's like maybe a 10, 15 minute walk and you go down these rocks, then down some wooden steps and you come out to this beautiful, beautiful waterfall. Um, uh, I will, I, 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 I will put the name of the waterfall, the area um, in the comment section so that you know you can see so once you come down the stairs you basically disappear down into the um the this little area with this waterfall and you can walk all along all the way down where you see here so um i went the first day and then a couple of days later when my friends arrived i actually drove them out there so they could see the waterfall and it's really lovely because you can sit and put your feet in the water so this is another waterfall um, it's a hydropower plant with a, a huge waterfall there and you can see the sign that says Costa de Morte so um, uh, it, it's it's actually worth these are things that are within an hour of, of Santiago this is just one of the little capes the little coves um, as we were driving around I thought it was just really lovely so you know, like I said, if you have the time, you know, I, I highly recommend that you take a look around. And um, this area was on the drive back from Musia to Santiago. Um, so we took a took a little trip there, um, decided not to walk because all of us had walked that distance before to Santiago. So um, this is uh, just a, a Roman ruins that were just like we driving by and oh, Roman ruins. So a bridge, oh, okay, so we stopped and took some pictures. Ah, okay, so this waterfall is called Toha Waterfall. Um, and th there's a, a large area where you can see the waterfall from the top and an aquifer runs down. And then um, you could go to the parking area and just hike down about maybe 20 to 30 minutes. It's straight downhill. And remember, you what goes down must come back up. And so um, it has a couple Camino symbols and um, it was just, there was no one there. And you'll see in a few minutes that this waterfall was totally, totally amazing. I actually uh, made a separate video just about the two waterfalls. I did not show the third one. Um, so uh, actually the names of the waterfalls you can find on my YouTube, on the Oma Perk YouTube channel. And um, 
uh, it tells you what the names, the actual names of these waterfalls are. So um, as you can see, there was nobody around. I stayed there most of the day. And then again, when my friends came, I actually took them back there. This is a view of sunset in Musia from my the rental um, apartment that I had. Again, there's an albergue down below, and then I was on the very top floor. So um, really nice way to spend the end of the Camino without all the Santiago madness. Um, so um, I actually, like I said, I took an alternate route. Um, instead of going straight to Santiago and then I rented a car here and I was done walking. Um, I had a heel spur and problems with my feet and all I wanted to do was just watch the sunset. So um, I hope that this gives you a nice view and that you will see things that you haven't seen on your Camino. Good luck. Buen Camino.